वेलकम यू ऑल टू पार्ट वन ऑफ द चैप्टर ड्यूएल नेचर ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड मैटर इन दिस सेशन विल बी फाइंडिंग द आंसर्स फॉर एम आई अ पार्टिकल और अ वेव इज इट अ पार्टिकल और अ वेव लाइट इज इट अ पार्टिकल और अ वेव इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इट अ पार्टिकल और अ वेव सो आंसर्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी आंसर्ड हियर लेट अस चेक इट आउट रेडिएशन इज अ एनर्जी व्हिच कम्स आउट फ्रॉम अ सोर्स यूजुअली द फॉर्म ऑफ रेज लेट अस कंसीडर लाइट एज अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ रेडिएशन इन दिस चैप्टर when we consider about the matter matter is something which has mass and occupies space let us consider electron as a representative of matter now let us start with the light so there were many theories of light the first theory was given by newton in his corpuscular theory he said that the light is made up of particles which he called as corpuscles and he supported particle nature of light then he came huygen he supported wave nature of light which was supported by Young's he in his experiment double slit experiment he proved the light has the wave nature then he came maxwell in his electromagnetic wave theory again he supported wave nature of light then he came planck's in his quantum theory he said that light is made up of particles called quantum and he supported particle nature then came einstein he explained photoelectric effect considering the light as photons means they are nothing but the particles these scientists supported particle nature of light these scientists supported wave nature of light then who is correct that will be the next question ahead right so there came a scientist called de broglie he came with a concept called dual nature means light has both the nature particle nature as well as wave nature so these natures are like uh, two sides of the coin when these scientists were doing experiment they saw particle nature they did not see the wave nature they did not consider the wave nature when these scientists did the experiment they considered the wave nature they did not consider the particle nature he said that the light is made up of both particle as well as wave nature when a particle is moving with a velocity a wave is associated with it and the wavelength of that wave is given by lambda is equal to h divided by m v when we consider a particle whose mass is m which has a momentum so these are the properties of a particle wavelength and frequency they are the properties of the wave he came with the equation which has both the properties that is lambda is equal to h divided by mv lambda is a property of a wave mass is a property of a particle like he said that the wavelength associated with the particle which is moving with velocity v that is lambda is equal to h divided by mv if we consider mass m which is moving with the velocity v it is moving in a straight line it is associated with the wave and that wavelength is given by lambda is equal to h divided by yeah okay. right so if i am moving with a 10 meter per second am i associated with the wave and what is its wave then let us check it out my mass is 80 kg if i am moving with a velocity 10 meter per second wavelength h divided by m wave h 6.6 into 10 to minus 34 planck's constant mass is 80 kg velocity is 10 meter per second if i calculate this i will be getting with the wavelength 8.25 Into 10 raised to minus 37 meter means it is too small. When I am moving, a wave is associated with with me, but you cannot see that wave because wavelength is too small, right? So in the similar manner, if this is a particle, when it moves, a wave is associated with it. We cannot see the wave because wavelength is too small. In the experiment uh, performed by Davison and Jermon, they proved that the electron. as the wave nature that we will be studying later in this chapter okay now let us start with the chapter electron emission a metal is a substance which consists of free electrons free electrons are the loosely bound electrons and they are eagerly waiting to come outside if sufficient amount of energy is given to them the phenomenon of emission of electrons from a metal surface why metal surface because metal surface electrons are more loosely bound compared to the inductive electrons and the phenomenon of emission of electrons from a metal surface is called electron emission if there is a metal it consists of free electrons and if some amount of energy is given to these electrons these electrons come out of the metal right based upon which type of energy you are giving we can uh, divide the electron emission into three types the first one is thermoionic emission the second one is field emission and another one is photoelectric emission we will be learning 
this in a detail here, right? So emission of electrons from a metal surface by applying sufficient thermal energy means by heating the metal. When you take a metal and if you heat, the electrons will come outside, and this process is called as thermionic emission. Right? If you use, if you increase the amount of heat given, the number of electrons which are emitted that also increases. The electrons which come out of these metals are called as thermal electrons and the number of thermal electrons is directly proportional to the amount of heat given. So this is all about thermionic emission. If you go with second, you can emit the electron from metal surface by applying a strong electric field. By applying strong electric field, you can remove the electrons and that process is called as field emission. If you take a metal plate and keep in a strong electric field, these electrons are attracted towards positive plate of the electric field and these electrons come outside and the number of free electrons depends upon the strength of the electric field and it is also directly proportional to the strength of the electric field if electric field increases the number of electrons which come out of the metal that also increases if you remove the electron with the help of electric field and that kind of emission is called as field emission okay let us go with the third one you can remove the electron from metal surface by incidenting a light of greater energy right when a light of suitable energy falls on the metal then the electrons are removed then that process is called as photoelectric emission the energy of the light depends upon its frequency we know the formula for uh, energy is E is equal to H nu suitable energy is nothing but suitable frequency right if you take a, a red light and a blue light blue light ha is having more energy than the red light if you send red light the electron will not come outside because it is having low energy if you send a blue light these electrons will come out of the metal and this process of emission of electrons from a metal surface by incinerating a suitable light on it and this process is called as photoelectric emission right so these are the types of electron emission and we will be learning this photoelectric emission in detail before we study photoelectric emission, we need to understand about one concept called work function of a metal. A metal consists of free electrons. We need to know about the property of a metal. So that property is work function. So one thing you need to be clear that work function is a property of a metal and it is denoted by pi naught. Right? So this is a metal surface which has a free electron, means bonded electron. Right? The energy with which this electron is bound to the nucleus that energy is called as work function and that much energy you need to supply to make this electron to come outside that much minimum energy you need to supply that is the minimum energy required by an electron to escape from the metal surface and that energy is called as work function right if this electron is bound to this nucleus with the energy 10 electron volts means you need to supply the light of energy that is minimum energy 10 electron watt to remove this electron from the metal surface and that minimum energy is called as work function and the SI unit of work function is electron volt because joule is a very large quantity we will be using a smaller quantity that is electron volt and denoted by EV now let us define what is this electron volt right if you accelerate the electron in between the potential difference of one volt right if there is a potential difference and that potential difference is one volt and the energy gained by this electron if i'm taking a, this as plus and this as minus the energy gained by the electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt and that energy gained by the electron is nothing but electron volt one electron volt is the energy gained by an electron when it is accelerated through a potential difference of one volt Right. So what is the value of 1 electron volt? So 1 electron volt is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. This is how we convert electron volt into joule. Right. Electron volt. This is nothing but charge of electron. Since potential difference is 1 volt, it is nothing but uh, uh, the charge of electron itself. Right. So 1 electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. Right. That. Now we will be uh, writing the expression for work function. Work function it is denoted by pi naught then the formula is h nu right h nu naught h is planck's constant nu naught is threshold frequency that is minimum frequency 
right? H, you know. You can write in terms of wavelength also. The, you know, the relation between frequency and wavelength is nu equal to C by lambda. So we can we can also write it as H C divided by lambda naught. Where lambda naught is the threshold wavelength and C is the speed of light in vacuum. Right. So this work function is constant for a metal. Right. For example, if you take a cesium, the work function is 2.14 electron volt. If you take platinum, the work function is 5.65 electron volt. Means the electrons of, of cesium is loosely bound compared to that of platinum. Means a small amount of energy is, is required to remove the electron from the cesium compared to that of platinum. For a metal, work function is constant. Based upon the work function, we will be supplying the energy to it to remove the electrons from that surface. Right? So this was all about work function of a metal. Thank you.